when should I use proxy media and when should I use optimized media and when should I use camera native media? Camera native media should be used whenever you're in a hurry and you'd want to get the edit done as fast as possible and you're not planning on doing a lot of effects. Optimized media should be your general purpose editing tool. You should always optimize media. Optimized media yields higher quality color grading, faster rendering for effects, faster exporting, and faster compression. At every stage of the editing process, optimized media will be faster than, than camera native media in almost all cases. Proxy media should really only be used when you're doing multicam clips. Now, you can use proxy media when you want to take the files on the road, on a laptop, for instance, and, and edit. But frankly, hard disks are big enough now and small enough, big enough in terms of storage and small enough in terms of physical size, that, that adding a... Um, that, that storing optimized media to uh, an external hard drive is not as life-threatening as it used to be a couple of years ago when hard disks were smaller. Proxy media is one quarter the resolution of optimized media. Instead of showing every pixel, it shows every other pixel on every other line. So you're automatically reducing the image quality by using, by using proxy media. You're reducing the image quality by 50%. You're making every other pixel disappear. The only reason you want this is you want a temporary file for editing that's got a small file size, or you need to do multicam work. With multicam, on a Mac Pro or um, <clears throat> an iMac, either one, I can get, we'll say, easily 10 streams of ProRes 422 video optimized, all playing at the same time, and do a 10-camera multicam shoot with no problem. But it's really hard, even with a Mac Pro, to do a 20-camera multicam shoot. But with Proxy, I can do 20, even 30-camera multicam, and a Mac Pro will just process that and, and be glossy in terms of editing a multicam shoot because proxy files have so much less data for the computer to process. So the recommendation I have now is, is proxy files are only good as work files and are principally used for multicam work. And you only need to worry about using them for multicam work when you've got, say, more than four cameras. If you have a slower system, an older Mac Pro, proxy files could become useful there too. But because the image resolution is so much less, the quality is less, you don't want to start to use proxy media and think that it's as good as your camera native or as good as optimized because 50% of your pixels were never even included in a proxy file. If you need absolute smallest file size, work camera native. If you need optimized speed for multicam, use proxy. And for general editing purposes, use optimized media. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar. For the complete version of this online training, please become a subscriber. And you can learn more at LarryJordan.com slash subscriptions. When you do, look for Webinar 163. If you need to stretch your training dollars, a subscription membership to our video training library saves you money. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,200 movies, hundreds of hours of training, all in-depth and all up-to-date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash subscriptions. And thanks.